Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I'm showing you guys a beta version of iRec, which actually supports iOS 9. So if you didn't already know, the original iRec application only supports iOS 7 through iOS 8. But um, right here on my iPod, I have the uh, updated beta version of the iOS 9 iRec. So it's got a new icon you can see there compared to the original one. And uh, this version supports all versions of iOS 9 uh, all the way up to 9.3.1, which is the latest as of recording this video. But uh, yeah, so I'm basically going to be showing you guys the differences between this and the uh, original one. And I'll just be showing you guys how it works, basically. Alright, so we'll take a look at the original iRec, and I'll quickly show you how this one works. Most of you probably already know this, but uh, you type your recording name here. You click on Start Recording, and the application exits, and it is now recording. Now, even though it thinks it's recording on iOS 9, when you actually go to play back your video, you'll see right now that the app crashes for one, and if you go into your recordings... Uh, you can't actually load the video, it just, it's forever loading because it didn't actually produce uh, a valid video output. So this one doesn't work on iOS 9, but let's go ahead and take a look at the new beta version. Alright, so with this one we have a similar UI, you put in the recording name just like the original, and you click done, you click on yes, and it takes you to a screen tip telling you how to set up AirPlay, which is how this application works. So. Uh, similar to the way AirShout works actually. So we swipe up from the control center, click on AirPlay, click on iRec, and now the recording will start. And there you go, you get the little red bar at the top again. And uh, you can do your stuff here. Uh, it also allows you to record games without the need of assistive touch, so it's a lot better than the original iRec. And uh, when you finish with your recording, you can go back into the application, click on Done and Yes, and your recording will be saved in the recording section right here. So you click on this, and there you go, you see the test recording. So you can play this, or you can add it to your camera or delete it. So let's just quickly play it. And there you go. So it's quite high quality, there's no lag at all, and it does have audio. It also allows you to record games without the need of assistive touch. So there you go. So that is pretty much how this new screen recorder works. Unfortunately, it does require a Wi Fi connection to be able to use the AirPlay feature. That's the only downside compared to the original iRec. But it is a lot. Uh, less laggy as I said and you can record games without assistive touch so definitely a great upcoming screen recorder and I'm not too sure on when this will be released but you guys can go and follow the developer on Twitter if you want updates on this um, we have a couple other things here on the app as well some settings for uh, FPS resolution stuff like that and uh, some audio settings but um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you're excited for the release of this new version of iRec and uh, yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you next time